right now we're in um, Alsan, which is the, uh, the venue for our holding camp. I'm at the Aviva holding camp um, prior to the World Championships in Daegu. Um, just really settling into the camp. Um, I've just been here a few days, just trying to get over the jet lag and find my feet again. Well, this is a great opportunity to obviously come over to Korea, um, you know, just a bit of time before the championship starts and just acclimatise and adjust to the time change um, and really just, you know, get our final bits of preparation, just fine tuning um, the last little bits of training and make sure that we're really ready to compete well at the Worlds. It's been a good atmosphere actually, the team's getting on really well. Um, the weather's not dampening our spirits and um, yeah, just definitely taking care of business and looking forward to getting over there in a few days. I think for any sports person to captain their country is an amazing honour, especially at a major championships like the World Championships. But um, it, it's a surprise, you know, because I'm always used to being the baby of the team for so long and unfortunately I have to say a speech which I'm, I'm not really looking forward to. Everyone's been giving me a little bit of stick about that already but um, you know it comes with a job and I, I found in the last few years that I've been giving advice to some of the youngsters anyway. That's something I've been doing naturally and, and maybe that's the, the reason why Charles chose me. I've never, don't think I've had a prouder moment in my life to be part of the Aviva and Great Britain. Northern Ireland team It's just fantastic. You don't, can't really get much bigger than this other than the Olympics so Hopefully this will be a good stepping stone for next year for me. These are sort of idols and superhero sort of people that I've seen on TV, but everyone's just been so friendly and I've just been made to feel so welcome, so it's been really nice. Anything I get now is a bonus for me. I'm really looking forward to going out there and testing myself against the best in the world. We've set a target of seven medals, including one gold at least. Um, we had six in Berlin. He, the target is eight for London, so you know we should be close to seven or seven, so that we're en route for uh, for London. It'd be, you know, a real dream come true to have another good year and you know to retain that title. I can't, you know, I'm not going to sit here and start imagining that yet because there's so much to do before then. But it would be an absolute dream come true to retain my title. If I won a medal. Everyone knows I'm always smiling. My smile will be even bigger. I'll just be in shock, you know, it would be a big shock to me if I got a medal. Um, I'll be so happy. And I'll say that, oh, all the hard work's paid off. That, that will be a relief as well. It's special because it's a world title. My second world title, my first outdoor world title. And it's the first time I'm gonna get an opportunity to, to defend a major title. I feel in great shape and I've worked hard this year. It's difficult being in, in this event, you know, everyone wants to be the fastest man in the world. Um, I'm confident I can run a personal best, that's what I want to do. Um, I think as long as I do that, I'll be a happy guy. I have to make the final, I think that's one thing that I always aim from. And I think regardless of your preparation going into the championship, my aim has never changed. I always go in there to make the final. And then once I get to the final, that's a whole other you know, game plan. You know, you want to do well yourself, but at the same time, you know, you can't put too much pressure on yourself and you just got to go out there and just do what you do every day. And yeah, and that's how I'm looking forward to actually competing. I don't train all year to imagine myself picking up the silver, I don't. And um, I was ranked number four in the world last year, so you know, to try and aspire for the gold medal is, is what I should be doing. And uh, yeah, I've got my, my sights firmly set and I have for, uh, for a number of months I have. And, uh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be fantastic to achieve that, it would. I've prepared well for these championships. I've come here in really good shape, so I know everyone expects of me, but I expect of myself as well. 